What's good? I'm Tech with Corey, and let's get into some USB hub reviews, right? I got some USB hubs right here from INTPW, right? They make good, high quality products. They're sturdy. They got fast transfer speeds and all that good stuff. So I got two ports right here, right? I got a power one and a non power one. So let's check it out. This first one right here is four USB 3.2 ports, right? This one here, when you open it up on the unboxing, it shows right here. You can scan the QR code for more details. You can activate your warranty and all that good stuff. Also, if you sign up with them, they send you help you set up the a vip member and you get all types of other stuff where you can extend your three-month warranty to a lifetime warranty and you get good product uh discounts and promo codes and all that type stuff so register if you get one right and now here's the manual that tells you everything that you're working with here it tells you that you got two usb uh a ports and two usb c ports right 3.2 so that's what those are so open this up boom and this thing here is aluminum and it looks real good, right? It's sturdy. It's, it's sturdy. It's, you can hear that as it drops. It's sturdy, right? So it does the job on that end. So rest of the box in here. So when you get this, and what I like about this company here with INTPW, what they let you know is what you're working with at all times. So it tells you right here, 10 gigabytes per second on the two USB-A's and on the two USB-C's, right? All you got to do with this part right here is just plug it in. It's plug and play. So all you do here is plug this in. Boom. And that plugs, if I get it in on the right side, my right side, I had it right the first time. And that's a tight fit. And that's what you want. You want a tight fit. It made me think I didn't have it in, but that is a tight fit. This cable isn't going anywhere. And now all I have to do is just connect this to my MacBook, right? So boom, goes to my MacBook. And this right here, as you can see right there, that green light lights up, lets us know that we got connection. And what this does here, it doesn't, uh, doesn't put any power over, but as you know, on the MacBooks, they're limited on the USB-C ports, right? So what this does here, it gives me two, four more ports, two USB-A's and two USB-C's, right? So great option right there when you want to uh, just extend that and get more hubs, you just plug that in, plug and play, easy peasy, right? And the cool part is, it's small, lightweight, you know what I mean? It's durable. So if it falls, it's not going to break or anything. So good Durable looks cool as you can see that matches the MacBook right there. It matches it and it gives me that extra piece, right? So that's that with this one, right? So now let's get into the next one right here, right? So this one is a cool one. And remember, no power on this one. So when I went with power on the other one, let's unbox this one. And before I do it, let's read. This is a nine port. It's aluminum powered USB hub, right? It has two USB C's, one USB 3.2 port, four USB 3.0 ports, and two charging ports, right? So it has everything in it, right? And this one here, you're gonna like it, right? So look at that aluminum piece right this right here just looks so cool it's black in color aluminum it has the uh fins on it so it can dissipate the heat and all that little bit so it's not going to get hot and you got the 3.2 right there the power right there in the back and like i said the cool part about everything that these guys have is that everything is labeled so you clearly know what you're getting yourself into as far as what each one has right so it tells you usb c 3.2 10 gigabytes right there so on and so forth so it has all of that there so there we go on that part right so let's now see what else is in the box and on the back of it here you got more stuff more stuff so here we go let's move this out the way so here you go with this one this one is power so you're going to power this thing up so let's power it up and see what we're working with right so unscrew this off of here for the power and the power goes right Let's see right here in the back. So you plug this power in and my desk is going to look messy with this because I'm finna power it the wrong way. Running my course, but this is your power. So let's get some power to this thing. Right. So we're going to run some power to it. So we got power going to it right now and now you look at the course you get with it and you can see right there you can see a little light as it lights up letting us know that we actually have power right so let's leave that there for now and now you got two uh usb 3.2s that goes on the back with those so you got a usb a and a usb c with the macbook being usb c we're gonna go at this one but keep in mind this works for anything right whether you got a, a chrome uh pc macbook whatever you got this will work with it um, as far as that goes, right? So you're not limited to Mac. I just have Mac. So that's why you're seeing me do this with a Mac, right? So here we go. We're going to take the back of this piece, right? And all you're going to do here is plug that in. So that's plugged in. So you got power. You got the USB uh, in the back with the 3.2. And here you got the USB-C right there. So we're good, right? And let me move these cables around real quick just so we can get this nice and right on the desk. So here we go. We got power, and if I untangle the cords, I'm good. So here we go. Untangle my cord. 
plug this in, right? So there we go. We're plugged in. So we're good to go. So what this is going to do, it's going to give me power and it can let other things actually get into the into the computer, right? So here we go. Let's just say I only want to charge my um, iPhone, right? So boom, take an iPhone cord right here. Plug that into my iPhone with my iPhone cord. So iPhone's plugged in. Boom. Now all I have to do is just pick whatever I want to plug it in. I got USB-C's right here. So plug that in. Boom. You're charged up, right? So here we go. Let's get something else that we want to charge, right? So here we go. I got a uh, do it. I got my DJI uh, mic right here. So we'll plug this in, right? And it tells you again right here what you want to put it in. If you want to put it in 3.2, 3.0, whatever, you just put it in. And you're good. It'll charge that up. Right. So now we're charging. No problem. And now here's the cool part. If we want, I got a memory card here. Right. So, again, we got power, but we also can uh, transfer data to the actual laptop. So if I plug my card in right here, it's going to pull right up. As you can see, well, you can't see on my screen, but it pulls right up on the laptop. So I can have my iPhone power, my DJI mic power. I can also have my memory card read straight to my laptop, right? So if I'm just shooting something, want to take it out, put my memory card in, that can go in, it can pull that over, right? So if you're looking for a one-stop shop for everything, right? And the cool part about this is you can push these buttons here, right? And when you push the buttons, you can now have each one individually powered on or powered off, right? So with my phone here, let's just go out, take some of these and show you what we're working with. So when you push this right here, the phone, as you can see, the phone is connected, and if you look at it here, you don't see any charge on it, right? When we push that button, that now charges it up and lets us know that we can individually handle each one of these ports that we want to handle by adding, turning the power on or turning power off to it. So you can get power, you can transfer data to your computer. And again, these can be used with a MacBook, a PC, uh, whatever you have, it can be used with it. Uh, this here is built very good as far as the aluminum look, um, aluminum metal look right here. It's going to dissipate the heat so it doesn't overheat and you can turn off each port. So you don't have to worry about this getting really hot because we know things can't overheat. Things can catch fire these days. So this right here is really good for me and why I wanted it because I don't have to have all of these on. I can easily just push the button, turn whatever on or off that I want on or off when I want to use it. Right. But this right here is also a good solid one because it just fits on the desk and it looks so cool and easy. And this is just transferring data, right? So same setup, I can transfer data with that one. But with this one, I can transfer data and power with it. So I'm covered either way with the INTPW with their USB hubs. And if you're looking for a solution for your USB uh, ports, check them out, um, INTPW.